Hi everybody, Brittany with Dual Realty Group, checking in for another market update from my home office slash living room slash uh, homeschool classroom. <laughs> um, but my favorite part of working from home um, in my home office is that my adorable dog Mikey sleeps in his little round bed right at my feet. It makes me happy. <laughs> um, the other thing that makes me happy is that we had a pretty historical election. Um, historical amount of people voted and it's pretty exciting to see how many young people voted. Uh, I think the future is bright. Um, so let's talk about the past. Um, <laughs> the October numbers are out. Uh, prices are um, continuing to go up and listings are going down. What do we call that boys and girls? Supply and demand. So year over year listings in the Pacific Northwest were down like 10%. Um, and the prices in Seattle are up 5.8% year over year. Get this, on the east side, prices in 2019 versus October 2020 are up 15.7%. Wowza, real estate is still a great, a great investment here. Interest rates are low, as we know, what we've talked about. Um, Oh, and again, the PSA that I'm going to put into a lot of my videos going forward here is you do not need 20% down to buy a house. Let me know if you have any questions and I can talk you through that. Also, sort of how to balance that um, interest rate versus down payment when it makes mo the most sense for you to jump into this crazy market for buyers. Sellers are... Uh, having a great time right now <laughs> and have been for years in the Pacific Northwest. Like, who are we kidding? Um, so we are in mid-November, um, rolling into the holidays here. This is my prediction. Normally around the holidays, we see a pretty significant slowdown. Um, some places it's because of weather, right? You can't get into houses or you don't want to buy with snow on the ground here, not so much. Um, but because we are living in this perpetual Groundhog's Day, uh, and there's not gonna be as much travel for the holidays. People are decorating early. Why not? It's 2020, bring yourself joy. My husband's getting my Christmas lights down for me um, the next couple of days. So I think we're gonna see less of that like holiday slow, and people are just gonna keep rolling. If people are ready to buy a house, ready to sell, I think the numbers are gonna be a bit more steady. Um, going through the holidays this year. Again, totally anecdotal, just my prediction based on the people I know and the things I see and how many people, how many Christmas lights I've seen up already. <laughs> That's not totally anecdotal. They're really out there. Um, speaking of the holiday season, um, we normally try to pack in like way too much stuff in December. I know it's strange, right? Uh, and we can't do that this year. We're not gonna take our family out and expose, et cetera. So I came up with this idea, not at all an original idea, but I just wanted to remind people, um, we're gonna do the advent calendar with different like activities for each day. Some of it's gonna be baking, wrapping presents, um, and then also some acts of service, buying things for a shelter, buying things for animal shelters, um, just to keep that spirit alive, even though things are looking a little different. So thanks for joining me again this week. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.